Hi and thanks for joining. Today I'm gonna share my quick tips uh, for Figma, uh, which I frequently use to improve uh, and speed up my workflow. Uh, so without further ado, let's immediately jump into Figma and see what are they. And we are in Figma, so let's get started. By the way, uh, you see a little sneak peek of something that I'm working on. This is my bootstrap kit. Um, and well, I will present it a bit later once it's finished. So let's go with uh, quick tricks in Figma. Uh, trick number one, uh, quick adding bunch of images. So I'm gonna uh, duplicate this card a few times. Let's, let's have it for, uh, for items. Okay, so imagine you having go through a lot more items, uh, for example, profile um, images or product images or something that contains an image, and then manually putting image in each instance. I mean, that's just too long and very unproductive and too slow. What you can do in Figma is go to place image, then select some images you previously, let's say, downloaded from the internet, and then, then you, you have this new selector and you just click on your rectangles and that's it. You just bulk applied nice images to your mock-up. Okay, let's delete this and proceed to quick tip number two, uh, and that is uh, quick, quick swapping components. Okay, let's let's go to components and for example, let's drop primary button over here. And then you realize, oh, it shouldn't be primary, it should be success. And what you can do is drag this one and then press option command. And once you see this purple border, you just release and that's it. You just swapped um, components which is super great because you have like visual representation and you can just drag and drop and swap as you go. Very, very neat. By the way, uh, since we are here, you can also swap it like this if you name them correctly. But yeah, I prefer this visual way I just showed you. Okay, let's delete this. Um, one cool thing that I don't use often, but sometimes is uh, copy property uh, functionality. So. I have two very simple rectangles here with some effects. Um, and for example, I want to copy this shadow to this rectangle. I don't want to copy everything with uh, option command C because then I will lose this styling, this gray background and um, black border. I just want to copy shadow. So what you can do is click on your preferred um, layer and then as you hover effects panel, you, you see you can interact with these options, but for every option uh, you, will, you will reach a little bit of space uh, up front where you can just click and then it's selected. Then you just command C for copy, select the other one, command V for paste, and that's it. You just copied one property from another layer. That can be super hand handy sometimes. Okay, let's delete those. Um, another thing which I like is okay. Let's let's um, let's take this one for example. Let's paste it here. As you can see, this bounding box for card title over here is uh, stretched. It obviously does not conform to its content. So this text over here, it's much wider. And if you want to create pixel perfect button component, for example, you need to uh, reduce this bounding box only to its content. So text you typed in. What you can do is obviously you can go to settings and choose anything from these two. If I choose this, it will um, like contract. But what you can do on fly is just double click uh, on edge and it will do the same thing. I use this actually quite a lot and I like this trick. And my favorite trick, which I don't use too often, uh, but when I need it, it really saves my ass. So let me show you. For example, you want to select uh, all uh, text uh, you have in your project. What you can do is go to menu, type 
for example, select all. And then you get a bunch of really cool options which can help you uh, select, uh, for example, text that you really want with the same font, fill effect, all text layers. If you remember, um, I think a month ago or something like that, Figma released this new um, uh, text rendering functionality. So this was a cool trick. You selected all text layers and then you just updated it over here. Uh, I already did that. I, actually, this is a newer project, so you don't have this option so over here, I think. Or for example, you forgot to apply a style, then you can just easily select select all with the same, let's say, properties. Well, that's too wide, then it selects over here. But you get the point. You, you can sometimes uh, find a way to select elements that you really want. For example, that's, that can be useful if you have a color and then you change it to something else or you want to actually apply uh, a style you created, then you can uh, easily find that color with, with the menu. So um, check it out. Uh, I don't use it that often, uh, as I mentioned, but uh, when I when I really need it, it really saves me, especially uh, when the new text, um, actually font rendering thing came out. And that's it from Figma, time for outro. I hope you liked this video and my tips. If you liked it, please share with your peers, subscribe, comment. Um, and if you have any topic you would like me to cover uh, in realm of product design, please write me in comments. And until next time, bye!